the drive center in. So we're going to put that in the way. Okay, once you got it, it's spinning, just below centre, spinning so I'm not hitting it with electricity, nice and the tool rest, now we're going to take these edges off first. spigot on the end there so that spigot will go into the jaws of the chuck because I've got a square shoulder that should pull it up firm and you want 20 40 60 so what I've got at the end of the drill I'll go in 60 and I've got a bit of black tape there so I've just been a number two more to take a drill So now what I'm going to come, I'll start shaping it into the tulip. That 60 along I want. goes through to there. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do, I'll go in and I'll start hollowing this out. My favourite hollowing tool is a little tungsten carbide 8mm cutter, tungsten carbide cutter and it's made by Vermic in Queensland. Uh, it's a specialist tool and it's a beautiful 
cutting edge, you always need to cut on the centre line, as close to the centre line as possible, and you can rotate it if and when it gets blunt. It's a homemade tool, and all I've done is, is sharpen the edge, just so I've got a nice sharp edge, but I can get it smooth right across the bottom. We'll try it and just see how it goes. bit of velcro for going in. I can just get the velcro paper. And I can just spin it around and just get the... Never ever try and poke your fingers inside with a bit of paper on them. <laughs> you will lose your hair. No, it's a Vermec one. They're $35 and you just make your own handle. And this is just a file handle because I've never ever... <laughs> I've never got around to making it. We can take two or three mil off that end with no trouble at all. Um, I've got two stoppers here that I've made. That one's a bit big for it, where this one will fit in beautifully. And what I've done with the indexing, to make my five leaves, or petals, I've just cut little lines down it. So when I want to mark the petals out, as you can see on this one, see each petal aligns with that mark on it. So when I want to make it, I'll put that in there very lightly. I'll take the pencil. Now, if there's any defects in it, that's when you can cut the defects out. Like that one there, I've got that bit of a chip there. I'm going to cut that, I'll put right in the middle. But what we want it to do to start with is... Um, I measure up 20, then another 20. That gives me where the petals are going to go. So knowing we're going to cut that defect out there, I'll put one line here in the centre and one line, a little mark here at, the, at each one. An approximate centre, it's all by eye, it's because the petals don't grow exactly the same. So I've got a mark here in between each one of these. Now we can take him out. If we get out is nice and straight with that one going just there to line up, but if you're going to do one where the petals have opened, you need the bigger one that's going to fit in, so then you can align each of the petals. With that one, oh, it does if it bends over, but yeah. So once I've got those marked, two is we're just going to draw that pedal down I find by resting your hand here I can get the, try and get it as uniform as I can so now I've got one one side of each pedal then the other side we want to match up to there So now I've got the pedal, so this is all waste in here, and see that's where the chip was, in there, or a crack in it, but I'm going to cut all this waste out. Now there's a lot of different ways you can cut it out. You can cut it out with a little saw, you can use it with a coping saw, but try to get that in 
and to get the curve makes it a little bit difficult. What I found at the wood show late last year was the new little Dremel. It's a little battery operated Dremel and I've got the little saw blade, a little cut, cutting tip. So if I lock that in there, push that in, lock it in, it then gives me something where I can now, I'm going to raise the tool rest so I've got something to lean on. Um, can we lock this? Uh, no. Only if I fit the indexing plate no, behind right. the chart. Okay, so Go what I've got here now, Harry, and I'm just going to line that up and bring it down there to the next one, to there. Wow. Next one. Next one. Next one. One. And okay, now what we'll do, we'll go back the other way. Slowly go take that way as I cut these out. What I like about this is the electronic variable speed. I can just wind it, wind it up or down depending what speed you want. I reckon a fair few viewers will buy those. There's, there's the start of your pedals. As you can see, we've already polished it on the inside. There's our pedals. Now, what I do on here, so that to keep the lines square, I take my pencil, center of the, the flower where it's gone, and I'm just going to mark a line. Because that keeps them all straight, the lines coming down nice and square and straight. Is I take the saw, you can use the Dremel. You're just going to run that cut. cloth and that because it's fairly thin that will go all the way down to the bottom of the saw cut twisting one See how you, it really helps with a spindle lock to lock them in. Mm -hmm. You can smell the camp laurel.
Now you don't want to leave real sharp points on them, I just knock the ends off very lightly. And then I normally go through a couple of grits of paper. I like Starting the with? Well that was 180 and this is 240. And this is just going to just clean up those little bits. That sanded down on the inside. What this is rounding off the leaves, the, the petals as well. Get your petals all, all smooth and, and you feel feeling this beautiful smooth finish on the inside. I then sand, sand it up. I do like the Vermex sander. Velcro tip, I can change the grits of paper and the way it spins, it doesn't leave any lines in the work. To redefine the base of it so that we can sand right down. I'm going to take your nice sharp new chisel. First little tulip. Gee whiz, it's thin. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh. And then all we do, we take your little drill. You might just have a tiny little bit there. first tulip. 